Hi beautiful people, welcome to your reading. Before we're heading over to the actual reading for your sign, I just quickly have an announcement for everyone because I felt guided to do a giveaway again. It's been some time since I gave away free readings, so I thought, okay, you know what? Let's do this. <laughs> it's almost my birthday season as well, so it's my gift to you guys. So if you would like to participate, you know, and want to win this free reading, um, you can leave a comment underneath, you know, this video. Um, just integrate word free giveaway of reading or something like that so i know that you're not just leaving a comment but you also actually want to participate into the reading you can entrance this giveaway till the 20th of june and then i'll announce the winner of the reading uh, on june 21st on the community page also of course um make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and that you you know hit the like button because you know that's all i'm asking all right let's head over to your reading Hi Gemini's, welcome to your reading for June. Happy birthday. I hope you guys are having a good season. I will continue to have like a great birthday season and a good birthday if you're a sun soul Gemini. Man, oh man. What a um, whirlwind we have gone through these last couple of weeks, months. I'm hearing years, but let's just focus on, you know, recent past and how that sort of is calling for us to have like a recentering stage and a recentering moment. And I really do feel that this summer is, um, we need to sort of reassess, you know, where have we been placing our energy these the first couple of months and um, what do we want to, con with, you know, the rest of the rest of the year and after summer, like where do we want to like invest our time and invest our energy and do we want to continue to invest into the same thing, maybe in new ways and it hopes for it to be to, you know, f to hope that it becomes the thing that we, you know, the potential and it reads its potential or the thing that we see in it that it could be and could become or are we going to take a risk and take all of that energy back put it in neutral and give it some time to marinate give it some space um, so we can center ourselves and come maybe you know maybe come up with something different that we want to constructively maybe rebuild or or you know build from the ground up and that's a little bit of the tipping skill that i'm feeling right now it's like that reassessing energy for you guys and of course you know during your season you know if your birthday season shows up um that is the moment for you on a personal level to like set new intentions what are these next 12 months going to look like for me what do i want to invest my time and energy in where do i feel that i have you know quote unquote wasted time and energy on these last 12 months that i wish that i could sort of set new intentions for for this year i had becoming more aware because i feel that one-on-one -on -one with yourself that those conversations and standing very firmly and grounding yourself rooting yourself in those decisions and you know those investments um is is very beneficial for you especially because i feel like a lot of people have a lot to say around you they have like opinions they have their own way of viewing things they have these you know advice and advice is already you know um, based on personal either experience or what they would do based on their personal traits on what makes them happy and brings them fulfillment in life so i feel that the more that you can sort of center yourself in that the better you know what to do and also what feels right <laughs> and i'm splitting the deck right on the devil and the full energy gemini <laughs> it's like yeah, I'm gonna just leave this. Uh, I'm gonna just go away. <laughs> you know, um, I'm gonna just free myself. You know that energy. So, or is that maybe a character trait that you want to look at? You know, when stuff starts to feel a little bit too committing and too much commitment and and just you know too limiting, or that you need to sort of uh, you know go into the deep end. 
with certain people or certain situations and you're like ah i don't know there's this other side of you is like ah, i just want to feel free i at least want to keep my options open so there is this yeah, of course you know different type of gemini's out here and it's like uh, you know also really depending on the rest of your chart but we're all coexistingly trying to step into this new space and create from a different you know energy so i feel that by itself you know it's just a side note but you have the strength energy so with that you know the devil i'm gonna start off with this card because i split the deck at like the fool and the devil but then it's crowned by the strength energy it's like yeah you kind of have to overcome either voices of other people opinions um looking at where do you get your validation from is that really like, maybe a little bit too much on the external source but it also has a lot to do with other people you know your relationships because we have this um you know because it's just easy and you're dealing with your first house energy but therefore you get the gift of the seven house energy with it like you can't escape that <laughs> you know you know when it's you know your first house uh, moon energy shows up then you know it's seventh house energy it's like before that is around you know it's coming up so i am se seeing that you are over maybe overcoming a fear of a long-term commitment and a long-term investment and that by itself doesn't really scare you that much or that's something you feel a lot of resistance towards anymore but you do become more and more aware of i just don't have the patience for this and that and that behavior and i do not need to set up with that and it's never really been that i don't want to commit it's never really been that i don't want to like a long-term investment and commitment it's just this and that and that makes me feel like i am so limited and they want to you know capture me and uh, put me in a box and that by itself, if you have somebody who's actually stimulating you more to come out of that shell and continue to spread your wings and transform and they love to just, you know, observe it from whatever space that you feel comfortable in. Um, and either maybe even bring ideas to the table or support you in some way, shape or form. Therefore, that long term commitment and investment into you and another person or maybe, you know, a situation with work or a friendship, it doesn't feel like it's an entrapment. It doesn't feel like it It brings about this feeling of like, oh, I just, you know, I can't breathe. Like I need to run, <laughs> you know, I got to go. So you're growing, you're evolving a lot, Gemini. So let's see. Strength and a ton of swords, yeah. This is overcoming of that energy. It's like when the, when the sun starts to rise and we, you know, the veil is starting to be lifted. That's where we see um, what's what. I feel sometimes we make up a story about people in our minds, you know, and more and more progressing through that relationship, they're starting to reveal more and more how they do not fit in that, you know, category or in that particular way. And it's like unraveling the truth. And therefore you're unraveling yeah you're unraveling truth in other people and also why they why uh, you know a certain belief system was born within you uh, based for on those experiences with people um why you might think that you're not just not a relationship type or you just don't you don't want to do this or you don't want to do that because you know but it is looking at it and 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 really seeing the other side of the coin it's like it's an ending of a cycle a serious cycle a cycle of repeating very obviously you know cycles intend to be repeating because they're never ending but i feel like it's over and 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 that's one see keep on seeing um sometimes it is you know when when something is repeatedly over like when it's a cycle 
you know, it's just one time thing with the same person or it's like with another person, but this is like, just, oh, we go here, but here we are limited. Oh, we go here, but that's also a limitation. That's a limitation, that's a limitation, that's a limitation. That's a limitation. But you don't know where to look to move. And it's very restricting. So you're freeing yourself from telling you that you have to stay functionable, that you have to just stay to stay in a situation like that. And that is what relationships are. That Those are what, what family bonds is or, you know, we're supposed to be or work or whatever. Like, no, you, you can actually have that level of commitment and connection. And especially with strength art, that purity of connection. But then doesn't have to come necessarily with all the stabs and the things and the jabs and the having to neutralize and, and and it's a lot so that's very powerful but i do think that you know past situationships or past pain and hurt it started to live a life on its own with the moon card it's like if I don't know if I don't see exactly what is, there must be something like a negative for you, something behind the veil. Doesn't have to be, but I feel like there is just protection in there. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, it's a juggling of two. It's a juggling of two minds. With the King of Swords. Wow. Everything comes in twos. That's a butterfly. That's the thing, you know, we don't necessarily need to protect ourselves with swords. It's, I'm going to Put a, a couple more cards out on the table. That's what I'm seeing here. It's just... Yeah, here we go. King of Wands and the Pentacles. I really feel that... I'm getting I'm getting like someone's personal story and that's why I'm like having a hard time with, with neutralizing that because it's so strongly it comes through so strong it's um it's once again that repetitive cycle of like that's how me, my granddad you know talked to my dad and so my dad took it on with me and it's like it's just a repetitive cycle but I feel that there is something about mm, a new level of compassion, a way of looking at things, looking beyond what the the, the 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 shininess and the intimidation of the sword that the that the King of Swords, you know, impose upon. When there is this this butterfly, I feel King of Swords. They just they don't necessarily get born that way, you know. It's almost, when it comes to King of Swords energy and someone who communicates rather more logically, doesn't really integrate their emotions too much, um, doesn't really get easily swept away by somebody's like, you know, excitement. Actually, you know, when they have like a very intense energy around them, they kind of become this really calm and like anchored energy, but not in like a earth way, more in like, ugh, don't be so loud or whatever. And then killing the vibe, you know, because sometimes when somebody's like super excited about them, I'm like, really? Oh, that sounds so great. Like, explain it to me. Like, how does it work? Like, you know, so they get more energy from you. Like, it's a bouncing off one another. It's like, a boom, boom, boom. You know, as a Gemini, you get that energy sometimes. So, but then it's this King of Swords energy. And it's just always like, you're excited. And you're, you know, you may have a win or whatever. And then all they can say is like, don't scream so loud. So it's like really about the way that you express yourself that the person is like this heaviness 
and it's not that they are not excited for you that they're not proud of you that they, they can't you know connect to that energy at all but there's this other side that is so happy and that's that sword energy so first and foremost it choose to come off cold 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 chill the cold energy very rational don't really get overly excited but also not too emotional and it doesn't really get extremely mad but they can like come so cold that it feels like a mean um low frequency energy and a lot of times people policing behavior then start to emerge within the other people they use that sort of as as a way to manipulate the situation but he's saying don't allow to don't allow to life to make you bitter let it make you better let it fuel your fire in the king of wands way because that's actually that ten of pentacles shows up with that like you come to a point where you're like ah i just can't hold it all i just don't want to feel like i constantly hold things together like i just need to hold it all together why for what maybe this isn't the way if it, it feels this heavy then why why you know okay let's just come out of that energy because i feel like now they really want to just talk about where are we moving towards look at that that emperor energy beautiful you're taking control over a situation, Gemini. Taking power, taking leadership position. Beautiful, yes, four of wands, all is well. Flourishing, look at that ten of pentacles, the emperor and the four of wands, the king of wands. Like, we leave this energy behind, we leave this king of swords behind, this ten of swords. It's like, that's a season that we've outgrown now, you know? dealing with this energy whether it's having someone in our energy that acts that way whether it's a side of us that acts that way towards the other side of us because sometimes that's what we are you know um we're being too harsh on ourselves and we allow ourselves to have a little bit more fun but it's all about reclaiming your power feeling vibrant feeling energetic um just overall feeling a sense of victory because you know when it's force of one four of one shows up is when we overcome we've overcame some struggle it doesn't mean that everything is like you know sunshine and and, and all of that but it's about feeling hopeful of them based on events turning around and some of those um results showing up and you can't deny that it's like no it's really happening right now isn't it yes knight of swords here we come with the swords again what does the sword want every time when you see a little bit more balance and good there's someone just coming at you with these with this communication it's really something to look at as well gemini it's like who is that in your energy that just fires things at you maybe it's you just ready to come out of your shell and spread the word share your experiences knight of pentacles been a long time coming it's been a long time oh beautiful love this energy gemini knight of pentacles with the six of cups and then the ten of cups wow it's like you show up it's like you show up in a new way, Gemini. And it's like you're you're just committed to like making things feel better, making things more beautiful, uh, more harmonious, more peace, letting things serve you. You know, looking at your clothes, like, you know, what are the clothes that you're holding on to? And they don't serve your beauty. They don't serve your magic. They don't serve your, your aura anymore. Or never really did, but you kept it around. And you're like releasing yourself that you know i just want i'd rather have like a couple of beautiful outfits that really enhance how i'm feeling and you know the energy that i want to wear around me and 
you know maybe it's a certain fabric where you feel really comf comfortable in and very confident and it, it brings you um, peace maybe it's like easy to it's not not triggering to your skin or in whatever way shape or form it's just choosing things and investing into things and situations and then putting your energy in places where it can serve you in the overall but serving you in the sense of that it brings a long lasting balance and harmonious energy and just peace overall like it's it's really like the season of like harvesting the mental um break and rest from being on all the time like with the hermit as well and there's this energy because you know you guys are like the first reading i'm doing today and ten of wands yeah but i'm like super like you know a little bit laid back i kind of feel high in some way shape form and i do not smoke anything okay <laughs> Or it's like no, no, nothing. Um, but it's the energy I'm feeling. I'm just like, or maybe when you know you take um, allergies medication or something like you, you, you're there. But are you? <laughs> you know, and that's the energy. I'm like super laid back, a little aloof, you know, in a good way, because that's like also like you laid back a little bit, lay a little bit back off the go getter. Let's jump on it. Let's do it. It's like no it's we're allowing things to calm harmonize itself balance itself out and attract it because what i'm feeling is this magnetic energy of attracting things to us as long as we keep an open energy and keep an open heart and keep an open mind and show up from a place of um patience and compassion first it doesn't mean that if somebody is like really testing your boundaries that we can be like just so you know just because i'm nice doesn't mean that i don't have a free choice to undo this niceness okay it's like being kind and nice is a choice and i'm making that choice but unless you prove me that i should choose differently we can go there i just don't necessarily want to come out of that energy right now but if you test my patience you know but it's not that we're looking for and looking around like who's not, you know, who is crossing boundaries, who's doing this. It's just literally we're in that calm state. We try not to let things take our energy too much, you know, soak up the space around us either, our head space, our heart. It's just we're flowing, going with the flow. And I'm saying we. <laughs> But I guess it's because, you know, we're neighbors, we're sisters, <laughs> cancer energy comes after. And for me, it's all about 12th house. So for me, you guys are my 12th house. There's a lot of 12th house energy going on. So I'm definitely flowing in your energy. Um, I really feel for a lot of you, you guys really do need that break. Like it's just a little, it's, you know. There might be some dehydration energy, uh, so hydrate well. <laughs> See, because things seem to just stick to us. All right, Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, beautiful. Nine of Cups, you have such beautiful. Wow, Empress. Okay, now. Okay, here's that full energy again. Seven of Cups, Queen of Cups. No, Seven of Pentacles. Nine of Cups and the Empress. Yeah, for some of you. For some of you, it's been sort of a fertility issue that has been occupying your mindset and your mind and just the heart space and your body and feeling a little bit like betrayed by your body even you know like it's a lot it's a, that's a lot a lot of emotions and things to feel but i really am feeling that you're coming out of that and you're really working very hard on the woman um inside the mother archetype that we 
like to work on that and to rest in that so therefore you are developing and preparing yourself for that motherhood um, in the best way you possibly can because with that you're focusing on becoming a mother on so many cellular levels that you start to attract it instead of chasing it um, and attracting your own womanhood in the process or neglecting your own womanhood in the, in the process so therefore you get what you want because it's a yes get what you want you get what you wish for because you are energetically preparing for it you're getting ready for it you're getting really ready for it on deeper levels than just the um, positive tests and the things and the tests and uh, getting the baby room ready ready in whatever shape or form or if you want to adopt a child and that's what you're waiting on it's like getting ready for it which also means cleansing out your own karmatic cycles and closets working on the you within relationships whether that is children you know parent parental relationship maybe it's a relationship with your own parent or maybe it's a relationship with the disappointments you had in your own childhood it's, it's, it's yeah but you're getting what you want because there's no not receiving something when you create the perfect lending space for it in the magnetic field this doesn't necessarily have to be pregnancy but i am really seeing that you get something that emotionally fulfills you queen of pentacles beautiful You're getting ready for a long-lasting commitment and like i said motherhood or fatherhood is a long-lasting commitment like don't think like it's one or two tuesdays and you're good to go <laughs> doesn't work that way um it is the long-lasting commitment to change but something that is forever evolving and changing like for example you could be a mother of a newborn and then you're mother of a toddler those two jobs <laughs> call it jobs roles are completely <laughs> different you know it's it takes all kinds of different qualities and stuff to deal with that so don't think that you have to be completely completely prepared and ready in all of those areas when you're meant to actually evolve and transform and continue to get ready for the next phase while you're going through that cycle and that's why they're saying like don't think that you can only start feeling like a mother or working on that mother archetype within yourself when you actually indeed become a mother and i'm sorry if if you are you know um connecting way more towards the masculine energy of this i just I'm giving an example. This could apply with fatherhood and stuff, but I do feel like strongly, mostly it's connected to like that motherhood art energy and archetype. And we just had Mother's Day as well. So happy Mother's Day. All right. The Wheel of Fortune with the Four of Swords. Yeah, taking it's a turn of events. It's just funny how, because that's what they're showing me, and I'm not saying funny like, haha, let's have a kiki about it. <laughs> it's an ironic laugh. It comes from deeper. It's like, ah, of course, you know. How, I guess it's an art form. But mostly, it's more. It's mostly natural for humans, and with that, people who also have air in their chart a lot, you know, that something beautiful and fragile and just beautiful in general, and something you know, f emotionally fulfilling and brings happiness and good vibes and good experience can be 
affected by heartbreak or an abrupt ending or something like that so much easier could be affected by that so much easier than the other way around when you went through a very tough relationship cycle with somebody and you know they let's say they broke your trust on a deeper level and therefore to be able to just take that in some way shape or form into a new relationship is very you know that that reason is very high like that life experience you know is in some way shape or form now woven into um relationships in general and the way you view them it doesn't mean that you can't work on it and that you can grow and actually grow to you know trust a partner again but that's the thing with trust or that's the thing with like disappointments and seeing something from a different scale it's really hard to get back into that first viewpoint or that the way that we are able to fully and wholly have an open heart towards something it's really hard to have it be affected the other way around but it's an art form when you can and when you're trying to allow that to be equally in your life and have that turn of events mean something on a deeper level that is seeing the positive in any situation and allowing that to sort of coexist with the real you know human feelings and emotions that come with the other side of the scale just as much so it's a deep hmm, reading and i'm just allowing it to come as it may because we haven't talked in in some time gemini and i guess it's just a message i really want to come true high priestess yeah the six of cups it is reconnecting to a <laughs> yeah you're re rebuilding a trust bond with your own inner voice because i feel like you you know your intuition and that strong and you know intuitive side of yourself kind of felt neglected and it takes time to heal that bond for that side of yourself to be like okay i i I'm allowed, you know, I'm, I'm willing to take the lead now again because I feel I trust in your following ship, you know, <laughs> when it comes to that. It only takes a couple of times to not trust her intuition and not listen to her intuition and then <laughs> shit hits the fan, you know, and therefore you're like, I, I effing knew it. I freaking knew it. <laughs> Why didn't I listen to my intuition? Why didn't I listen to this feeling? It only takes a couple of deep experiences where you're like, <laughs> I'm not doing that again. I'm not ignoring my feelings again. If next time, if I, feel, you know, you get out of a situation, like next time when I feel this off, like I do, I'm going to trust it. Um, you know, I'm probably not even going to look for no evidence. I'm just going to trust it. But the problem is, is that we run her for it to not be true. And therefore, if there is any way, shape, or form, someone who gives weight on this scale of like, no, it's not like that. It's easily to be more like, you know, gaslighted into trusting the other side of the scale. But I do believe that those experiences are very beneficial for trusting, learning how to create a deeper trust bond with our own intuition and reconnect with that because it comes from the six of cups. Kids, they just trust their instincts. They just go on their impulses, but definitely trust their own instinct. It's the world. When we grow up, when we get older, it's like, no, but it's not nice to do that to this person. You don't even really know that person. Like, you should have say hello. Go say hello. When you're like, oh, oh everything in my body, like, I want to stay away from this person. But, like, you know, it's work and you kind of have to, like, or you're at school and you have to work with that person, sit at the same table as that person. And it's just like, yeah, well, you know, social cues. You kind of have to just, when your intuition is like, <laughs> you know, as a kid, you wouldn't even hang around that person. It's like, okay, you go on the swing and I'm over here. You know, I'm good when it comes to that. You go and do your thing over there. And it's not like no forcing. You have to play with them. You have to, you know, when you're young, you're allowed to just sort of roam freer in that sense. 
and it's not convenient in a world where you say like why don't you you know so why did you do this why didn't you just like well you know just didn't feel right when that actually should be enough you know it's like you know i just don't know it's just feeling and my intuition is just letting me know and people are like yeah but you shouldn't you don't have such preconceived uh, opinions or when you know and it's different for people who like are high priestess energy like for example you know i'm very intuitive <laughs> it's like i'm here um doing these intuitive readings but as a kid i had a very strong intuition and I, the times in my life where i try to sort of ignore it i definitely knew why um i shouldn't you know got to see that real quick and on top of that i've learned how to give myself and grant myself for that to be enough reason and that i don't need to prove other people or that i am not necessarily going against the grain either so i'm just like i meet somebody i can instantly feel an energy and I still will show up kind and nice because they're either like part of someone's family or they're like a <laughs> part of a job or you know whatever way shape or form it's okay I'm like I'm, I'm staying nice and kind but I'm not opening up your energy towards me <laughs> you know <laughs> um but it's also a lot of times as people feel intimidated about you know with my energy in Gemini so you guys have that um quite often people just feel in intimidated by the magnetic field that you guys have um which is not something that we should continue to like nurture and making them feel comfortable but we just stay nice and kind and that's it being kind isn't you know has nothing to do with like pleasing them going out of your way of them liking you often they like you too much <laughs> and therefore they want to act tough and hard to get and stuff but that's a story for another time i think overall what is important to know is that you're keeping a newfound boundary in place no matter what because you're not trying to prove nothing to nobody or whatever you from but you just don't want to go back to where you've been you don't want to get caught up in in this rat race anymore of just completely being overwhelmed with so many things to do and so many people to like you know help out and this and that and people going over your boundaries and taking your kindness for weakness which is like the stupidest thing but that's not you don't want you not you you made a commitment to yourself like i'm not going back there period i am not going back there i'm not going to act like i get it right all the time you know because we do fall back sometimes and there are certain you know circumstances that may pull us back into that giving mode but gemini's it's just time you're like ready for this new season and i'm super excited for you guys there's a lot of healing and a lot of overcoming of you know either what you know self-belief systems but the cycles, like we break an, up a lot of cycles. What else for Gemini? There we go. The great goddess, transcendence, divinity, and Shakti. Beautiful. You see this pathway through the heart portal into transcension. It's beautiful. Find those who inspire you to bloom. Didn't I say that earlier on your reading? Someone who shows up with this energy instead of the King of Swords. Someone who's like, yes, and, you know, that's a great idea. Maybe you should also try this. Oh, wait, let me call this person for you. We can actually make this happen. We can get it done. Like someone who inspires you to continue to bloom in a beautiful um, way that you're meant to as a Gemini, you know? Community, connection, and reciprocation. So like what you give is what you receive and vice versa and there's this beautiful healing energy in that you're escaping and freeing yourself from it from truths that 
aren't necessarily facts it's just based on personal experience but mostly fears so you're escaping from what you trust you know you trust to believe as truths but you're rediscovering new truths all right gemini happy birthday season i really enjoyed doing this reading even though my <laughs> It was, you know, a deeper one, but I hope there was some messages in here that bring in a level of like, you know, validation either or just confirmation and to just, you know, keep choosing this new pathway, keep choosing, putting yourself um, in this, you know, this energy of we're not chasing, but we're directing, we're resting because it's beneficial, you know, it is productive. beautiful all right i love you gemini's happy birthday once again and i'll be back soon Mwah. bye gemini's bye